Brazil is a country full of natural resources and people here really care about the biodiversity and also the environment. So through our activations, including becoming the first carbon neutral sponsor, we wanted to raise the profile of sustainability because we wanted people to uh, grasp the idea of solar and solar energy. In the uh, media centers, we have our charging stations and our charging stations have provided power for everyone's cell phones and smartphones. So outside the stadiums, we've, uh, we've had our media tower uh, lit up with uh, solar energy. We've had our solar charging stations uh, providing power for the people who came to the Budweiser booth and everyone who was in that uh, sponsor village area. We have a solar installation on the Maracanã. It's a 390 kilowatt installation on the rooftop of the Maracanã. And we have a second installation in Recife. It's a one megawatt installation next to Arena Pernambuco. In the case of Arena, um, on the days of a match, we can basically cover 20 to 30 percent of the total electricity that will be used throughout the day. On off-match days, actually, I expect the system to, you know, to provide more energy than the stadium actually needs. So it helps to provide electricity to the neighborhood of the stadium as well. And I think that's a very cool feature of that project. As the only renewable energy sponsor, we feel that uh, we are uh, responsible for the environment, responsible for our actions. It's very important to us that what we do and the activations that we do is being responsible for the environment and is leaving a legacy behind here in Brazil. We don't just want to leave after the World Cup is over. We want to be able to leave an Yingli legacy, a solar legacy, in the host country where the competitions happened. <laughs>